Hello and welcome to my Descript AI green screen tutorial where I'm going to show you how to utilize the AI background removal and replacement. Very easy to do, so follow along with me. In fact, you can follow along using Descript if you haven't already using the link in my description. They come with free access, which is always a good thing. Let's begin. So just letting you know, this is going to be a clip I used for a previous video showing you how to get studio sound, which is excellent. Another great feature that allows you to remove a lot of the background noise and clutter. Now that we have that out of the way, what we want to do is utilize the video that we have right here. So let's just say I was talking here. You know, it looks kind of weird. I'm very close to the fan. I obviously did that just to get the background noise. But let's just say I want to remove that. Okay, so what we want to do is click on the actual video right here. And if you have a look on the right, you're going to see there's going to be an effects button. Let's click on plus. And you can see here is going to be green screen. So let's click on that. It says applying green screen, green screen to studio sound. That's just the name that I created because that was for the uh, previous video. Give it a, a few seconds or so. Obviously, the longer the video or the longer the duration, it's going to take a little bit longer. Okay, so there we have it. And just like that, the background has been removed. So the cool thing about that is that we can now replace that with anything we want or we can just keep it like that. I probably wouldn't, right? But let's have some fun with this. So I'm going to X out of this just because we know that's done. Let's move on up to the media aspect, which is going to be this one here. And we can do videos, we can do images or, you know, really whatever we want. So depending on the plan that you have, you can utilize uh, different images, backgrounds. Like I said, this is going to be for the pro where you get much more of them, but some of these are just beautiful. So where am I going to be talking? Uh, something like this looks pretty good, right? Or hmm, probably not in front of a waterfall, but let's go with something like this. I'm going to click on this. So downloading media for import. And what I'm going to do is first just make it a lot bigger. Okay, let's drag it this way. Perfect. And center that. And what I want to do is right click on it. And what I'm going to do is move backward or just like that. And there you have it. So. <laughs> Before with a video, what I was doing was just talking. You know, I stood on my couch so I could get as close to the fan just to get the uh, the noise in there to remove it. And now here I am in a tranquil little forest area with a lake in the background. What I want to do is play this, but just keep in mind my uh, computer has been lagging a little just because I have a lot open and it's getting older. It, it happens. So if it's a little laggy, that's on me. It's not the actual software. But either way, allow me to play this and let's see how it looks. All right, so here's a video that is very close to the fan. Hopefully you can hear the background noise so that when I redo the video, it'll edit it and sound perfect. All right, that was pretty good. I don't know about you, but first and foremost, with the studio sound, it sound crystal clear. And of course, we have our great backgrounds. So what I can do is actually, let's see, move this one. What I want to do is right click on this. I'm just going to delete layer and I'm going to move me back to the middle and I'm going to do one more example. So let's just say, where could I be? Mountain. Hmm, this kind of looks like New Zealand. I like it. Let's utilize that. I went to New Zealand a few years ago and it seems like there's so many roads like that that are very windy with like the, the beautiful water, so many mountains. And let's make this much bigger. Oops, not that big. Okay, and drag on the edge, just like that. So where do we want to be? Something like that, right? So let's right click on this. Let's do move backward. And there I am once again. So it's really up to you how you want to utilize the background for it, of course. You know, you can choose the specific picture. Sometimes you just want to do something basic. Uh, once again, let's just play and see how it looks. Again, I apologize if there's some type of lag. It's my computer, but let's play. All right, so here's the video that is very close to the fan. Great. Hopefully you can and hear the background luck, noise so that so when I redo the video, out of there. edit it and sound I'm going perfect. to delete and I'm going to slide that back in. Let's open this up and give me one second. I want to think of something that I can uh, come up with. All right, of course, I had to come up with a beach. Beaches are beautiful. And let's just go with something like actually. Why do a beach when I can do an island? Marketing island, of course. There we are. Now we're talking. Let's go with this one.
And I think by now you know the drill, right? We're just going to make it bigger here. Here we go. Kind of center a little better. And let's move that backwards. And there I am. Right? The channel is Marketing Island. So it would make sense to utilize something like that, right? And so this is going to be the last example. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is, had been the uh, Descript AI green screen tutorial, where not only can you remove the background, but you can change it. You can put yourself pretty much anywhere. And it looks really good if you ask me. You'll notice uh, before when I did this, there was like a little bit of white around the edges, but this actually fits perfectly because we have the sand there. So it kind of blends in. But uh, anyway, let's hit play. Once again, thank you so much for watching. If you want to test out Descript, I will leave my link down below in the description. And here we are. All right, so here's a video that is very close to the fan. Hopefully you can hear the background noise so that when I redo the video, it'll edit it and sound perfect.